same for every elementary cellular automata. Elementary cellular automata have two possible values for each cell. Every square in the grid. And those values are zero and one. That is zero. of an elementary cellular automaton can be completely described by a table. A table specifying the state a given cell will have in the next generation based on the value of the cell to its left of itself and to the right. Since there are states for the central cell. Then, that means there is a total of 2 to the 8th, 256 elementary cellular automata, each of which can be indexed with an 8-bit binary number. So let's pick a binary number. I'm a big fan of 0. Zero, zero, one, 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 zero. So let's match those numbers to every group of three and fill in the result below. Well, I messed up a few times there, so I have to start over, but at least this stuff is very forgiving. Actually, it's not. Because it's marker. And you can't erase marker. Just like you can't erase your mistakes. Let's keep going. Now let's begin by making a cellular automata with this 8-bit binary. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So we'll start with a happy little dot right at the top. And this dot, he's very happy. This dot will spawn many. So, according to the rules, according to the rules that we've created up here, let's see what happens in the next generation, the next generation. As you can see, he has multiplied according to the rule set that we've created. It's 
So we're just gonna bring this down some generations. Let's see where it takes us. Yeah.